Hey guys and welcome back to another new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we're going to be looking at some new screenshots from a website called Nintendo World Report for Animal Crossing New Horizons. So let's get checking out some of the coolest ones here. I'm not going to show off all of them, I'm just going to show off some of the ones that I thought were really interesting. And you guys can check out the rest with the link in the video description. There are literally so many to check out and they're all really cool. So first of all we have this scene and it clearly shows the opening ceremony of the campsite. This is what your campsite looks like when someone's not actually camping. So it's it looks nice, it's very uh, rustic and I like that, it's got little flags and stuff, it's very cute. What I love about this screenshot is just how cool this scene is and having all these characters here on screen at once. As you guys might remember in Animal Crossing New Leaf, not many villagers at all would attend the ceremonies, so now you've got a whole bunch attending. Another cool thing about this ceremony for me is one of my favourite characters ever, Fauna is here. I think she's great, she's one of my faves. And we also have two new characters as well, they're really cute, I love them. I would actually like to have both of them living on my island. And that's kind of saying a lot because typically I don't really like the sheep characters, but I think he looks cool, so I would definitely have him on my island. Next we can get a little scene of the character talking to Harvey outside of his little island where you can go visit him and do some photography stuff. So yeah, it's very cool. I like Harvey. I find it an interesting choice that they even brought him back to be honest. I, I, I didn't see that coming, I'm not gonna lie. I thought Harvey maybe would just stay in Animal Crossing Welcome Amiibo since he was kind of a new character for that update. But nope, they decided to bring him back and here he is. <laughs> His role is quite interesting in this game as well, I think it's pretty unique. And I don't know, it's good to see him come back, I do like him, I, I, I do think he's an interesting looking character. Not one of my favourites, but still, you know what, I'm happy to see him back. This next screenshot shows the opening of Nook's Cranny. And you can see at this time the island is a bit more humble, things are a bit quieter at this point in the game. But that's a good thing in a way, so you know you can get some of the cool buildings not too late in the game, which I think is handy. And yeah, as I said before, I love the ceremonies, I love the confetti, I love just how happy everyone looks at having this new store open, which is great. And Nook's Cranny looks really nice in this game as well. This next screenshot is really cute, it shows off the character talking to Daisy May, and she says, I think that's everything, oh, Graham Graham wants me to mention the official brand name. So yeah, this confirms that Daisy May is actually Joan's granddaughter, which is cute. I think most of us kind of figured that out when we first saw her and we saw she's the turnip character and she looks a lot like Joan, but yeah, this is sort of official confirmation that Daisy May is actually Joan's granddaughter. In the next screenshot, we can actually see Mabel's little stand, display, whatever you want to call it, stool, I guess, outside of resident services. So like how Blavers actually starts off with a tent, we can see that Mabel has her own more humble beginnings in the game, which is really fitting with Animal Crossing New Horizons. I think it's good, and it, it's nice to see that the characters actually have to build up a bit themselves. Not everyone is just starting off with something crazy, you know? everyone has their own beginning in this game and because it's a deserted island you have to work a bit harder to get everything feeling like a normal Animal Crossing game. <laughs> I don't know, it's a weird way of describing it but I think you guys get what I mean. And finally for this video we have this screenshot that shows the town a little bit more developed and some of the cool things you can expect to see a bit later on in the game. We can of course see those two new characters again. I really love that wolf character. I'd actually like to have her living on my island I think. I'm hoping that she will move in, that would be nice, and I do like the sheep as well. It's also cool to see the fountain, of course that's a furniture item now, but it's it's good, it's good. I, I, I like how it looks, I think it looks a lot better than the one from Animal Crossing New Leaf to be honest. So if you guys want to see even more screenshots for Animal Crossing New Horizons, check out Nintendo World Report, the link is in the video description, there's a whole bunch of them and a bunch of cool things to go over. I just wanted to go over a few of the ones that I thought were really cool in this video. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you want to help support the channel, click the join button down below the video to become a member of the Bob's Gang. You can get a bunch of really cool perks for doing so. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and you can also subscribe for even more Animal Crossing New Horizons content. We're getting so close to the game, and of course, on March 20th, I will be uploading episode 1 of my series. So I hope you guys will stay tuned for that, and I'll catch you all in the next video.